Hey, good morning, guys. What's happening? I've got yet another new radio to play with. This is the Yesu FT891. It is a high frequency plus 50 megahertz transceiver, 100 watts, and it is extremely small and portable. The overall length from the back of the radio to the front of the tuning knob is about nine and a quarter inches. Side to side, it is about six inches. And top to bottom, maybe one and three quarter inches. So it's really small and compact, but it is really heavy. There is a lot packed into this little metal box you see here. And the reason I got it was um, I really enjoy operating uh, from parks. You know, just going out into a park, set yourself up with a battery and an antenna. And, I, you know, I think it's a lot of fun. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about this radio today. I purchased it last week from DX Engineering here in Ohio. And it runs about uh, $635. Now, it doesn't have a built-in tuner like the IC7300, so I have ordered a tuner, and, and not from the usual suspects either. You know, there's a LDG and MFJ, and even Yesu makes a, a ridiculously expensive tuner for this. But I was looking on eBay, and I found a company, I'm not even sure what the company's name is, but the tuner is the MAT30, and I got it for $117. It'll be here next week. It is a fully automatic tuner that integrates specifically with like this radio and a couple other of the Yesu radios. It uses the uh, mini six pin DIN accessory port on the back. And then all you have to do is hit the tuner button on the radio and it will tune. So a couple features of this radio that I find really nice are the DNR, the Digital Noise Reduction. So this is, I think, the MidCars network. Might be E-Cars. E it's either E-Cars or MidCars. Good morning, how you doing? Let's see if we get somebody with some static on here. Oh, we're not gonna be able to hear the other guy, it seems like. All right, that's fine, we'll change stations. See, I'm using this QMB. This is the quick memory button. Now we're not going to hear anybody. Anyway, the digital noise reduction is really excellent in this. The screen is also very nice. I mean, the screen's it's pretty big. It's about you know two fingers high. It's a uh, there we go. There's no DNR. This guy's pretty clear. And uh, right. we'll try again later to see if we can find something. You have these three buttons here that you can assign to absolutely anything. I have them assigned to the digital noise reduction, uh, the scope, and the tuner for when the tuner arrives. Now the scope is very nice. You hit that button and you get a snapshot of what's going on and then you can just tune to one of these peaks oh Mexican radio we're out of the 40 meter band there anyway we'll hit it again and get ourselves another picture Okay, there we go. There's no noise reduction. And there's noise reduction. It's really nice. 
Now, a lot of the features are accessible from buttons. Up here we have fast tune. Uh, we can switch our bands here. Or if we hold that in, we can switch our operating mode. We can switch our VFOs from A to B. We can put the VFO in the memory, the memory onto VFO, and then we have our quick memory up there. And then we have the functions. So here's function one that has a bunch of stuff, tuner, vox, monitor, blah, blah, blah. There's function two, this has our meter, our scope, automatic gain control, digital noise reduction, digital notch filter. And then we have another one with all of the CW items in it. Now, if we hold this button down, it takes us to the memory, and boy, there is just a lot of stuff in the memory. You definitely need to put or read your manual when you're going through this stuff because you don't want to screw any of that up. Now, back to the scope. You see how it just grabs a snapshot, and then every time you press the button, you get a new snapshot. So it's not like the 7300 where it's live, but if you hold the button down, now we have a live picture, but we don't get any sound because it can't sweep the band and play the sound at the same time. Oh, we got a little bit of CW there. Let me find some more CW down here. There we go. Very nice. It comes with the Yesu MH31 microphone, which has two settings on the back one for a wide dynamic range and one that is flatter but um, seems to output more power. Now you see here we have this uh, scope here showing us the power out, but we can change that right here. And we can see our automatic level control, our SWR, our compressor, or the um, MOSFET final current drain. I generally just leave it on power out. Works well for me. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. This is what I'll be taking with me when I head out to the parks and stuff. A nice little compact radio that has almost all the features that the IC7300 does, but packed into a much smaller place. Now, for digital modes, um, it hooks up with a USB cable for the CAT control. CAT is the uh, computer control of your radio. And then through the accessory port, uh, it outputs your sound and inputs sound. So you can put that into the computer and use it with things like Ham Radio Deluxe or WSJTX. Very nice. This I like this radio a lot. And I think I'm done buying radios for a while. I think I've got about $2,000 in the radios in the last month and... That might be a little excessive. But I've got my toys now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video on the Yesu FT891. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. I'm going to go play radio. Peace.